Good morning, everybody. Good morning. It is Thursday today, August 22nd, and it is the feast day or a feast day of Our Lady. Right? It is the queenship of the Blessed Virgin Mary. So you know how uh, when we pray the rosary and pray the litany, we have a recitation of um, of Mary as queen, right? Queen of what? Queen of angels. <laughs> We're patriarchs. Queen of prophets. Queen of apostles. Queen of martyrs. Queen of confessors. Queen of virgins. Queen of all saints. Oh, very good. Queen of Yeah. Queen of heaven and earth, the queen of the universe, the queen of queen of families, right? Queen of everything, right? And because she is the mother of the king, okay? the mother of the king, Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay. So in today's gospel, <clears throat> so happy feast day, everybody, <clears throat> and uh, happy anniversary to. Uh, Grandpa Sonny and Grandma Grandma Normie today is their wedding anniversary. So let's keep her keep them in mind today at Mass and in our other prayers. Okay, today we have a long gospel, so I'm gonna summarize this and uh, comment on the gospel. It's about uh, Jesus telling us the story or a parable <clears throat> of a king. See a king. So today is the queenship of Mary. Okay, and we have the parable of a king who um, who um, hosted or wanted to host a um, uh, a wedding feast for his son. Okay, so the king's son, the prince, got married, and uh, he wanted to host a wedding feast for him. And so what does he do? Well, he tells his servants, okay, go and invite the guests. Tell them that the feast is prepared. So go and invite the, the guests, those who are in the invited guest list, right? And so the servants go out and uh, they, they, um, they invite everybody, telling them, okay, now the feast is ready. Come in, come. But plenty of them, in fact, all of them, ignored the invitation. They gave all sorts of excuses. Some ignored the invitation and went away, one to his farm, another to his business. And the rest laid hold of his servants, mistreated them, and killed them. Imagine that. They were being invited to a wedding feast, and then they get, they get killed. And so the, then the, uh, the king said, okay, so uh, go out. Go out everywhere. Okay, and, and invite everyone you can find into the wedding feast. And so, okay, they went, invited everybody. And then, so the wedding feast commenced. Then the king decided, well, let's check on the guests. So he went out into the uh, banquet hall to check on the guests. And he was greeting everybody, I guess, you know, walking around, talking. And then he spots somebody who was shabbily dressed. Right? He wasn't attired properly. You know, when you attend a, a nice wedding uh, feast, you know, we normally dress up to honor, to honor the, uh, the um, bride and groom properly. Right? We dress up when we want to honor people in the right way, especially, uh, you know, uh, things related to God. That's why when we go to Mass, we try to dress up the best way we can. Right? Because that's the way that we honor our Lord when we go to Mass. So same thing here. And so uh, the king, having spotted this particular guest who was not properly attired, tells him, my friend, how is it that you came in here without a wedding garment? But he was reduced to silence. Didn't know how to answer the king. Right? Then the king said to his attendants, Bind his hands and feet and cast him out into the darkness outside where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Many are invited, 
but few are chosen. What does our Lord want us to understand with this very simple uh, parable um, about the wedding feast? Our Lord wants us to understand that everyone is invited to heaven. See? The wedding feast is actually eternal life in heaven. And that all of us, all of us are invited. There's no discrimination as to race or color or profession or trade or uh, beauty and, uh, and uh, whatever criteria people might apply. Right? There is no distinction. God is calling all of us to heaven. He invited all of us. We all have a standing invitation to go to heaven. Okay? Just like all of these guests who are invited to the feast. We all have a standing invitation to go to heaven. And, well, by virtue of uh, our baptism, by virtue of our um, uh, participation in the life of the church, we are somehow preparing ourselves we are on the way to this wedding feast in heaven but what our lord is telling us here is that while we are all invited to go to heaven we cannot just go any which way we want right we cannot go there with shabby clothes on we need to be well prepared we need to be well disposed we need to attire ourselves properly okay we cannot just appear there in the house of the king shabbily and not well prepared so what is the lesson for us well in this journey that we are undertaking in life towards that heavenly banquet in heaven which is going to last forever which is eternal where our Father God has invited us to, to sit with, uh, with Him, the King, and His heavenly court, and with Jesus Christ, and with Our Lady, whose feast uh, we celebrate today, the Queen, right? The Queen, who is Our Lady. He wants us to participate properly. He wants us to be there well prepared. And therefore, uh, what does that mean? Okay? While there is a standing invitation for us to go to heaven, we don't know when, when we will actually be called. Hey, Eva. <laughs> we don't know when we will actually be called, right? Uh, so, uh, we can go anytime, so to speak, because that banquet is going on eternally anyway, okay? And we all have our dates, that only God knows when. And so what our Lord is telling us here is you always have to be prepared because you never know the time and the hour when you will actually be made to appear at the gates of heaven to join that banquet. Now imagine if we are not prepared. Imagine if we are full of excuses like these other guests. Imagine if we we had not we are not properly disposed well we will merit the the uh punishment that the king uh dealt with this unworthy servant he says okay bind his hind hands and feet he can't enter the the wedding feast you gotta throw him to hell okay? now the same thing is going to happen to us if we are not prepared if we're not ready by the time we are called so we have to live our lives we have to live our lives always like it was our last day, right? Remember that song, right? You always play that. If today were your last day, if today were the day you were being called to heaven, are you ready? Are you ready? Because you never know when that day is. Are you ready? So what does that mean for us? We have to be always in the state of grace. We have to be living our lives always in the state of grace and that means avoiding sin avoiding temptation and if we if we fall into the misfortune of having mortal sin okay which disqualifies us 
uh, from heaven right away. Well, let's run to confession. Run to confession. Clean our souls so that we can be again adorned with the garments of grace. Okay? And our soul will be prepared all the time to meet our Lord who is hosting that party for us. So that we will be welcome, like a welcome guest and not like a shabby, shabbily dressed, uh, unwanted guest uh, who, who has to be thrown out of the party. Okay? We have to be always prepared uh, um, to meet our Lord anytime that He opens the gates for us. Okay? So that means always live in the state of grace. And if we fall into the misfortune of committing a mortal sin, we go to confession. Okay? But you know what? It's not only a question of not having mortal sin. Okay? We also need to live virtuous lives. Okay? It's not only a question of avoiding sin. We also have to do good. Right? We also have to do good. And doing good means living the virtues. Living the virtues. Because living the virtues is the uh, yardstick of well, uh, how high up in the, in the heavenly banquet we will be. Okay? So if we want to be closer to the throne of the king, we better practice our virtues better. Better and better every day. Improve ourselves every day. Okay? So we avoid sin. We go to confession and, and approach the sacraments frequently, worthily, sincerely, humbly. Okay? And then we live the virtues and we do good to others. Okay? We do good to our neighbors. We always deal with our neighbors in a kind way, in a charitable way. Okay? And that is what will uh, uh, make us welcome guests in the heavenly banquet of our Lord. Okay? So let us always be ready and always be prepared. Okay? Very good. That's it for us, folks. Have a good day today, and uh, I would encourage everybody to uh, invoke Our Lady, the Queen, the Queen of Heaven and Earth, the Queen of everybody, the Queen of everything, the Queen of our souls, the Queen of our lives. Let us invoke Our Lady's help today that we will always find ourselves worthy, or that Jesus may always find us worthy to be part of the wedding banquet in heaven when the time comes that we are called to participate. Okay? Hey, howdy, Robert. Robert Juan, a classmate of mine from high school in Claret, is watching us. Have a good day, everybody. Bye.